predictions. It's a new angle today. So the first match we are um so we do have a guest. Um wait and see who it is. Um I'll shout his channel out at the end, but he's um a good friend of mine. But um first match for me and my friend Jack are going to be predicting is Forest versus Arsenal. I could just say uh, another Chris Wood hat trick, sadly. Um, my prediction, however, for that one is Forest 3, Arsenal 1. I don't like to say that, but I've just got a feeling that could happen. I think this will be a very tough match. It will, but Forest have a good team, so do Arsenal. I think it'll be a tight match, but I think it'll be Forest 1. Arsenal 3. Right, the second fixture is Luton versus Brighton. I see this as a regular match. Um, say regular, then we play it as I just see it as a normal Premier League game. I don't think Brighton's been up to much. I think Luton's gave every single thing they can um, on their belt, but... Uh, They've tried everything, Luton, and I think they deserve to stay up in my I'm a Sheffield fan. I also think that the score will be nil-nil, though. So, Brighton nil, Bram um, Luton nil. So, oh, Luton versus Brighton. Luton are in good form, Brighton are in even better form. I think it will be a one-sided match, 3 nil Brighton. Right, Everton versus Fulham. I'd see the score being 2-2. Two, two. I still think Everton will stay up, regardless of how many points have been rumoured, 10-6. But my prediction for this match is 2-2. Two, two. Everton versus Fulham. This will be a really good match. I don't think... I, I don't know really what to say, but I think it'll be Everton 1, Fulham 1. Sheffield United, my team versus Crystal Palace. So, um, today's fun fact is that Sheffield's first game this season was against Palace, where we play, we played the worst eleven I think a Premier League teams ever played. None of our new signs of them. Benny Traore was left after six months. Who Wild has not fancied, nor did um Hacking Bottom, um. He was the only one who hired, but I think recently Sheffield's been giving it all under Wilder and that performance we went to yesterday against West Ham, the last minute penalty, it was a well-deserved draw. I think it was unlucky to win. So my prediction is Sheffield 2, Palace 1. Right, Sheffield versus Palace. I don't want to go too harsh because this is my friend's team, but... I think I'm going to go a Palace 3, Sheffield 1. Aston Vanilla versus Newcastle. <laughs> Can you remember, what was it, 6-1 or 6-2? Might have even been 6-3. Start this season at Villa Park. Um, I don't think Newcastle are cooking a lot. I think that... It'll be a Villa 4-1 win, even away. I think Newcastle, they've not been great this season, but they've not been Sheffield quality. Um, that's my that's my score prediction. It's um, it's quite a heavy one um, on, well, um, Newcastle's side, but I... I could just see that happening. I don't think Trippier will leave Newcastle too. Right, so Villa Newcastle, they both are... Um, well, Villa is in really good form, but Newcastle, they're not having a good season. They're having a worse season than last. So I think 2-1 Villa. Man City versus Burnley. Another fun fact, Man City and Burnley played as the first Premier League game of the season. Um, right, I'm not sure, so I think Burnley have got talent, I don't think they've had a great season to show it, they showed it against Sheffield, 
we were there to see that dreading performance at Turf Moor. Um, but I think Burnley could potentially win 1-0. Yeah, let's go with that one. Right, Man City versus Burnley. This is probably be a one-sided match, so I'm just going to say 4-0 to City. Tom Hotspur versus Brentford, London Derby. I think Spurs have to win this, come on. I think Postecoglou's got a good side to it. I mean, Son's gone to the Asian Cup, and I think Sawman have gone out to... Um, I think he could have gone to AFCON. I might be wrong though, so correct me if I'm if I'm not right, which I'm probably not. Um but yeah, I think Spurs will win 2-0. Right, Spurs versus Brentford. Spurs are in some good form. So I'm just gonna say Spurs two, Brentford one. I think Tony will get his second goal. Liverpool versus Chelsea. I think that'll be the Carabao Cup final. Um I think Middlesbrough will lose four. 4-0 to Chelsea and it'll be 4 and I grow up. Well, that, that's the other cup, um, Carabao Cup. Anyway, I can see Liverpool getting the victory in both final if they got there. Um, but that's the thing, see. I think Chelsea have got, if rumours are true, not that I've seen it actually reported by a... Uh, a reliable thing I've just seen it on YouTube and Twitter, but um, and some articles which I think they that they're trying to um break um break the bank, sign a hundred and fifty million pound for him, works four hundred and fifteen million pound. I think that will be interesting if, but financial fair play is what they need to remember. But still, I think Scrooby, Liverpool to Chelsea one. Right, Liverpool versus Chelsea. It will 1-1 at Stamford Bridge. But I think to, it's going to change. I think 2-0 to Liverpool. West Ham versus Bournemouth. West Ham played us and Bournemouth got destroyed. Um, right. Don't get me wrong. I think that West Ham will win. But I can only see them winning by like one goal, two goals. I think the score for this one will be 1-0. West Ham versus Bournemouth. West Ham just come away with a 2-2 draw against Sheffield, but Bournemouth come away with a 4-0 loss to Liverpool. I think it'll be 3-0 to West Ham. And that brings us to our final prediction. Um, Man United versus Wolves. I think Wolves will win. I think they'll win easily. 2-0 Wolverhampton and Wonders. I think Man U are just, they're going under the radar a bit at the minute. So, there are my predictions. You're about to see Jax. But thank you for watching this video. Um, I'll show you my other friend's predictions just after um, Jax said his predictions. But thank you so much for watching this video. See ya. Bye. I think it'll be two Man U Wolves. Wolves will win 2-1. It's pretty simple. Got some good record at home and you are in some terrible form. Just want to say before we go, thank you so much to Jack um, off of JMD Vlogs for coming on to my channel. He's um, a really good friend of mine um, set up at YouTube recently and that's going really well for him like it is for me. So please subscribe to JMD Vlogs. I'll leave a link in the description. So thank you so much for coming on, Jack.